practice using the properties and also practice using your trig basic skills from earlier in the semester. So the idea is not to just plug this into the calculator and get a decimal answer or, or even a more exact answer, but I want you to do this by hand. You may certainly use your calculator to check your work and make sure that it's correct. So the first thing I'm going to look for is do I know any of these uh, sine or cosine values? Are these special angles? No, they're not. I don't know anything um, about pi over 8. So the second thing I'm going to do is, uh, is look and see, is this in the form of a trig property? Well, it certainly looks so. Uh, it looks like it. It looks like this is sine A cosine B minus cosine A sine B, which means this could be simplified to sine of A minus B. Well, in this case, A would be the angle pi over 8, and B would be the angle 3 pi over 8. So I could write this then, uh, this whole thing as
adjacent over, or I'm sorry, hypotenuse over adjacent because it's the reciprocal of cosine. So it's going to be 2 over negative 1, which is negative 2. So this is negative 2, the quantity squared. So the square root of 3 squared is 3 plus 1, and negative 2 squared is 4. 3 plus 1 is 4. That is correct. Okay, show that sine of 90 plus x plus cosine of 90 plus x equals cosine x minus sine x. Well, when I see 90 plus x in here, I'm thinking um, of something like a plus b here, sine of a plus b and cosine of a, a plus b. If it were 90 minus x, I could be thinking of a co-function property, but it's 90 plus x, so I can't do that. Um, so sine of 90 plus x, sine of a plus b would be sine a, so sine of 90, cosine of b, cosine of x, plus cosine of 90, sorry, yeah, that's right, cosine of Cosine of 90 minus x, I'm going to switch colors and say, well, I'll do this one in blue, plus cosine of 90, cosine of x minus sine of 90, sine of x. Now remember, cosines are social sines are social and the same. They're social. Sine, cosine, cosine, sine with the same sign as in the original argument. Cosines are cliquish and contrary. They go cosine, cosine, sine, sine, and if the original sign in the argument is plus, then the property is a minus. So just reminding you of that. Now, I have sine of 90 and cosine of 90, and I know what those are because I have, I can look at a sine graph and I see this angle right here, sine of 90 is 1. Cosine of 90 right here, this would be 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. This would be 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. So sine of, so cosine of 90 is 0. So I'm going to evaluate sine of 90 is 1 times cosine x plus cosine of 90 is 0 times sine of x plus cosine of 90 is 0 times cosine of x minus sine of 90 1 times sine of x. So we see, of course, that z these two, 0 times sine of x and 0 times cosine of x, both become 0, and I have cosine x minus sine x. Cosine x minus 1 sine x, cosine x minus sine x. So those are some example problems that should help you with your homework tonight.